What's going on guys? It's Stribbers, and we are back with another episode of PGR2 Road to Platinum. Up to episode 38 now, and in the last episode, we got over halfway in the uh, Extreme Series. Only five events left to do, and we'll be covering four of those events in today's episode, leaving one more event for the series. So we've got a speed camera, a one-on-one, -on -one, and two street races to do. So I'll be kicking things off with a speed camera. And I believe there's two possible cars that you can choose to do this. It's either the Ascari KZ1 or the Ferrari F40. Um, I tried the Ferrari F50 and the, the Jag XJ220 and they both fell a mile an hour short every time I tried it. But the, uh, the F40 is the easiest one to use um, as it does these couple corners a lot better and this final corner just because it doesn't understeer too much. The Ascari is a little bit harder to get the uh, final corner right but you can get 156 miles an hour in that as well. So there we go. That's done in the F40. It might be possible in the F50 and the uh, the Jag, but I couldn't quite do it. So um, I'm recommending the F40 or the Ascari for that one. So that's a nice quick event. Not too complicated either. It's mainly that last corner that you've got to get right. And we move swiftly on to a one-on-one. -on -one. The last one-on-one -on -one for this series. So it is going to be against the F50 on a fairly tight track. So I'm using the F50 as well to try and combat that. Only two laps as well, so it's not the longest race, so you've got to try and get in front as quickly as you can before you run out of track. So he takes that a little bit too uh, narrow to the inside of the apex there, leaving a lot of room. And again, he's got the inside line, we've got the outside line, but we're able to cut back inside and take him on the inside, which is very nice. We've done this track a few times before, I think, or a very similar one. And we definitely did it in the Ferrari 575, and I think he crashes on that little uh, chicane section, which leaves us uh, a nice little healthy lead. And those three corners, or three chicane sections, are quite hard to take, actually, without going too close to the apex. Because um, if you go too close, you go on two wheels, stops you turning, and makes your life hell. So, a little bit difficult to, uh, to take, but we're 3.6 seconds ahead already, so... I think the uh, other driver has given up at this point. Not sure what's going on there. Probably one of the easiest one-on-ones so far. But uh, it's good for us. Again, try and keep as tight as you can to that barrier there. So it leaves you the maximum angle to come out of the corner with speed. This section's a little bit difficult. I got a bit too wide there on that first little curb. Um, so it did slow me down a little bit, but we're 4.4 seconds ahead now, so... Very, very easy, mainly due to the Ferrari slipping up. But there we go. Last one on one down. Very nice indeed. And a clean race, which is rare. So I'm happy about that. So that's two events down. 6,400 kudos, nearly 500. So there's two street races to do. First one's in Yokohama. And uh, yeah, on these street races, there is quite a lot of slowdown in the, in the, um, the events which is a little bit annoying. It's uh, similar to the Pacific Muscle Series when it slowed down. This this track's not too bad. I think it's the next track that it's uh, quite bad. But we're in the F50 for this one, um, just because of the nature of the track. And because there's eight cars, I want the best chance of trying to get around them. So there's a little bit of chaos there. The Porsche getting spun out. I think it was either me or the Ford GT40 behind. We're able to get around here. A little bit of slow down around that corner. You see it speeds back up to normal speed there. But we managed just to get behind the F40 pretty early on. And also get the inside line on him. As he went a little bit wide there and did break actually. Into this uh, left hander there. Which you have to ease off or tap the brake slightly. And try and get close to the apex. And then back on the power. Because you can go quite quickly through there. But you can see the F40 is catching us up through this section. We're able to use the better brakes of the F50 to break a little bit later. So we didn't have chance to go for the move there. And the AI always take this corner a little bit slow. But then we do get hung up on the barrier on the right hand side. Which slows us down. Nearly full throttle through that section. Have to ease off slightly. And the F40 does that line better than we do. So he is actually coming up the inside here. Probably going to make this move which he does. 
completely blocking off the corner there. Darty on the inside, so we've got no choice but to fall in behind him here. Trying to look for the inside there, but that's not happening. Gave him a little tap, nearly forced him into a slide or to a spin. So we've just got to stick behind him now. Two out of three laps, we've got another whole lap to go after this one. And the Jag is right behind us as well. Taking that nicely through there, getting a good line, carrying good speed through. As you see, we are on his tail, but there's no way of slingshotting past him there. There was no room. So I have to stick behind him best I can. Braking nice and early now, just so I don't hit the back of him, even though I just managed to there. But the slower you go, the less, ch less chance you've got spinning out. Hitting the barrier there, but rebounding off it and uh, not losing too much speed and having to back out there so I can take the line nicely through there. As he goes a little bit wide, allowing us to um, to go through and past. Good job that wasn't the final lap, although we were just ahead, actually. So we would have won that by the finest of margins. But back ahead now for the final lap. See if we can keep this. Gives us a shunt up the, uh, the backside there as they always do, but we managed to somehow get ahead there and he slows down a lot. I'm not sure what was going on there, but keeping the first place now. See if we can take this corner nicely and uh, stay ahead of him. Not doing that particularly well, going a bit wide and then car losing control a little bit, which isn't ideal, but then look behind me there and something else has happened with him. Not taking uh, that corner or maybe my presence threw him off a little bit. But uh, he's 1.7 seconds behind now, so as long as we don't do anything silly on these last few corners, that should be the win. Again, repeating the first lap, getting hung up, hung up on that right-hand barrier. Into the last section, coming up to the line, and there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Not a clean race there, I don't think. Uh, I think I did hit the barrier around the second lap, but that's uh, Platinum Medal down. So we've got one more to do for this episode. Over 7,000 in-game kudos, or with the Platinum Medal as well, so total kudos for that race. Moving on to the last street race, using the F50 again. It is better to use this car when it gets into these final street races. Gives you the best chance to uh, overtake as many cars as possible. And yeah, this, uh, this track, or this event, does have a lot of slowdown in it. On this first straight and around this first corner, it's in slow motion which is a bit frustrating. But I like to go wide on that first corner and cut on the inside there to cut out all that congestion from the first corner, which uh, slingshots us straight into fourth place. And the two Ferraris have a little battle there. The Porsche getting caught up in it as well, and we're able to do the same thing on the second corner. Although the F40 doesn't have a clue we're there and just absolutely rams us into the wall, getting back into the racing line. They don't really think about racing lines and who's in them, the AI, they just do what they want. But uh, the F40 went very wide and just got out of the way basically, allowing the two F50s through, including my car. So uh, there's two Ferraris behind us now, so we've just got to uh, see if we can hold them off. Have to break around that corner, you can't go flat out around there, you will slide into the barrier, especially in the wet. So that's something to bear in mind. Bit of slow down around that corner as well. See if it's uh, the same on this one. Not quite as bad. I think the more cars there are around a dodgy part of the track where it starts lagging, I think the worse the lag is. So if you're on your own and the other cars are miles behind, I don't think it lags quite as badly. As you saw on the first corner of the first lap, it was very bad. But we got a bit of a break, two seconds ahead. I think the F40 might have overtaken the F50 now. I have to check that. We've got one and a half laps left to do. Doing that nice and tidy through there. Yeah, and once, uh, once this event is done, that leaves one more for the Extreme Race, or Extreme Series, before unlocking the final series. So we are making progress nearly there in the Kudos World Series. I'd say there's probably around five or six more episodes to do. Crossing the line there for the third and final lap. The car's 2.3 seconds behind now. As you can see, there's really not much slowdown on that first corner anymore. So it was definitely the uh, first lap with all the cars bunched up that made the worst, uh, the worst of it. But uh, yeah, 
in the rain as well it does make it so much more difficult cars slide all over the place it drifts a lot wider in corners than you normally think so you have to uh, adjust your driving style for that but uh, it, makes a, it makes it a little bit of different dynamic when you're driving something else to think about so we've only got a couple corners left to do, and it looks like we're going to be fine in this race. Mainly due to those uh, Ferraris fighting in second and third, and someone's definitely crashed because there's six seconds behind now. So uh, very easy win and a fairly easy episode actually. So that was uh, a nice change. You can see them coming around the final corner there, they're all bunched up. So cars caught up behind. 2,000 kudos, in-game kudos. F40 beat the F50 and 7,000 kudos all together. So that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. So as I said, we've only got one street race to do, which also suffers from slowdown, but that'll be in the next episode. And then the first three events in the next series that we do unlock. So I look forward to that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, please like the video and consider subscribing if you're new for more content. And I'll see you in the next episode.